Today we're going to be checking out some cutting edge civilian night vision technology called the LSNG1 from LaserSpeed. And this is a clip-on thermal imager, or a COTI as it's sometimes referred to. And this is designed to be integrated with an analog PBS14. And this incredible device projects a thermal overlay, which allows you to detect things that you normally miss with night vision, and also significantly increases the range of your night vision capabilities and gives you a tremendous advantage over just running night vision alone. Laser Speed is a company that specializes in weapon mounted lights and visible and IR aiming lasers. And this is their first thermal offering, but I do think that they did an excellent job putting out a competitive and affordably priced product in a very small market marketplace of clip-on style thermal imagers. I do need to disclose that I sell the LSNG1 on my website Goodnight Gear Shop and you can save 10% using the coupon code US10 and I encourage you to check it out if you want to help support the channel and help me make more night vision videos like this one. We're going to start off by taking a closer look at the unit itself before we dive into some more footage and on the front of the device we've got a sensor and this is a 640 by 512 sensor. Right next to that, this little arm sticks out and this is what projects the thermal overlay onto the objective lens of the PVS-14. This little knob turns on and off the power and adjusts the brightness of the overlay. Down here, we've got the option to connect an external power supply and right now we've got it configured to run off of an 18650, but there is a smaller tube which accommodates a 16340 battery. And next to that, there's a small button which will allow you to switch back and forth between the solid mode and the slow pulsing mode and also access the device's menu. The LSNG1 is a clip-on style thermal imager and attaching it to the PBS14 is very simple and straightforward process and all you need to do is slide it over the lens, clamp it on, and you're good to go. Depending on your mounting options, you might need to rotate it a little bit, but you should be able to configure it in a position that will work as you need it to. Together, the PVS14 and the LSNG1 running the 16340 weigh in right at about one pound, which isn't lightweight by any means, but the clip on itself only adds about four and a half ounces to the setup, which isn't that much considering the capability that it adds. We're gonna check out some recorded footage, and since there's no onboard recorder, we have to use a cell phone, and from time to time you might see a little pink glare, and that's from a small IR light on the cell phone camera lens, but it is being blocked by the PVS-14 and it's not spilling additional light onto the scene. The field of view of the thermal overlay is about 30.5 degrees, which is a bit smaller than the 40 degree field of view of a standard PBS-14. So the view in the center will have that thermal overlay, but the small ring around the center will not. There's a handful of different viewing modes, including a white hot mode, a highlight mode, and an outline mode. The UI is very simple, but there are a few different basic settings you can play around with in the menu. So with this thermal imager, you should be able to identify humans up to about 136 meters away, recognize them at about 270 meters away and detect them up to 1,088 meters away. And with larger vehicles like a tank, that range will be a little bit further at about 184 meters for identification, 368 meters for recognition, and up to 1,472 miles for detection. This shot was filmed with the moon at about a 55% illumination, and the area that we're looking at has a lot of trees and the canopy is blocking most of the moonlight from reaching the ground. And there is a deer off in the distance at about 25 meters away. And at this range, it's very easy to identify what we're looking at. And the thermal overlay is incredibly crisp. The deer's heat signature really jumps out when you scan the tree line and detecting this would have been nearly impossible with the naked eye. Very difficult with night vision alone, but the thermal makes it incredibly easy. Certain environments are definitely better for thermal than others, depending on where you are, but generally the more natural the environment is, the less distracting heat signatures there will be, and the more thermal will shine. But there is also an advantage to operating with thermal overlay in an environment with mixed ambient lighting like a city or a suburb, and these kinds of environments can be tricky for night vision and thermal because of the presence of additional light sources and glare and additional thermal signatures, but adding thermal will still be beneficial. You do notice a very small amount of an offset with the thermal overlay, especially when objects are moving quickly, but this effect is usually very temporary and not very noticeable. The thermal overlay that the LSNG1 provides gives you an incredible advantage in the field over your competition and significantly boosts your nighttime capabilities. And overall, this setup is very easy to integrate into your kit, so anybody looking for a way to upgrade their analog setup should definitely check this out. The price of the LSNG1 is about as much as a nice analog tube, 
but if you already have a single tube and you're debating between upgrading to duals for a more immersive experience or running a thermal, then the LSNG1 might be worth considering as it would provide you with much more capability and you could always upgrade to duals later on down the line. Thanks for watching the video and again I really appreciate the support and in the next few weeks we're going to start diving into some of the ADNV digital night vision and thermal fusion night vision devices. So there is a lot of exciting cutting edge night vision stuff on the horizon for the channel so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it.